We just made it to Troll Expedition right over here. And I think we're gonna get ready and put on shoes and get our gear. Okay guys, this is what I'm about to do. Lifelong dream goal. Um, we getting ready over there. I just got on like shoes. Blah, blah, blah. So this totally breaks my nature-loving soul. Basically, a few years ago, the glacier used to be all the way over here, and because of global warming, it has melted, you guys. So just imagine that about five years ago, this place looked completely different. If you want to see the glaciers before they all melt away, make sure to visit Iceland soon, guys. I think I have way too many layers right now. I also have an axe, so if you mess with me, I'll cut you. Anyways, we're approaching the glacier. It is absolutely gorgeous here. I'm running out of breath because of all the layers that I have on. But I'm super excited. I've been waiting to do this for at least like five years. Glazier, we made a quick stop to adjust our shoes, add some gear, and get instructions on how not to stab your thigh with an axe. 
Oh my goodness. Hiking on a glacier, guys. Trying not to die. A lot of people die here. Fun fact, we were just told. Oh, this is so cool. Check it out. Everything is just easy. Since you told me what could become of me, I put together all the pieces. And now it's time for me to fly. And if you're sitting there wondering what the black stuff are, that's actually ashes from volcanoes that exploded. This is definitely not as easy as it looks. It's really, really hard, you guys. You need to be in good shape. And wearing all the layers makes it so much harder to walk and hike. Oh, oh my God. I wish I had water. Wow, this is a really, really difficult. I guess we're gonna go down. Over there. I would literally pay 300 bucks for a bottle of water right now. 500 is pushing it. 300. Now it was time to set up our ice climbing gear before we hiked down the glacier. I was so hot and sweating at this point. I was literally about to leave two layers of clothing on the mountain and get it later. Who would have ever thought you can sweat in negative 12 degrees on top of a glacier? Not me. Okay you guys, this is what we're about to do. We're about to climb from down here all the way to the top. These are these guys. By the way, not everybody actually has to ice climb. If you don't want to ice climb, you can just take the normal hike on the glacier. But you know I like to keep it crazy. And there you have it, me ice climbing. Leave it to the expert. That would be me. No, I'm kidding. I had no idea what I was doing, but it was actually pretty easy because I've rock climbed before. The only difference is you have to dagger your shoes into the glacier, ice wall, whatever you want to call it, um, to get stability so that you don't fall. But as you can see, adapt this. Just one, make sure always feet are in the wall. You know what I mean? Really? Yep. Yep. Make it. Yep. Make a yep. Okay, guys, I just got off the mountain right there. Not the mountain, the glacier. Um, it's actually not that hard if you know how to like rock climb. I've rock climbed before. So it's pretty, pretty simple if you know what you're doing. Um, definitely recommend it. It's super fun. I can't wait to do it again. You know, me. I like something, I do it like two or three times. Um, so I'm about to go one more time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love me. And let me know in the comments below, would you actually go ice climbing? I want to hear all about it. Bye you guys, love you.